Hi guys, welcome back to Wildebeard Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about Nightwing issue 70, written by Dan Jurgens with art by Ryan Benjamin. Now, this continues uh, Nightwing or Dick Grayson or Rick Grayson retrying to find himself um, after the Court of Owls have messed with his brain, messed with his memories in an attempt to make him a Talon, which they succeeded at for about five minutes, but he has figured out what's going on and he is starting to try to pull apart and differentiate the fake memories from the real memories in his mind and it's tearing his his brain up meanwhile we've got our other nightwings that are have been running around bloodhaven trying to figure out what their future is and now we've also got the joker coming to bloodhaven doing jokery things all in all i think this series is in a much better place than it's been in uh for a long time i think i started reading nightwing again in issue 64 Five, maybe 63 or something like that, but it's been getting progressively better and better, and I can definitely say that this series has stabilized since the the, the sheer fall-off of what was happening after Nightwing got shot in the head and became Rick Grayson. I hated that era. I've said that many times here. Um, at least that span of issues where he was just they felt like they were crapping on the character, and now it feels like we are circling back around to get um, the Dick Grayson that we know and love back to the pages of Nightwing. So let's go ahead and, and go through the comic here um, like we do page by page. And there's some cool stuff I want to call out and some some characters that I want to call out that I think will be um, good to, to to keep around maybe a little bit um, as, we, as we're going through this. Got my little Mikey right there. We'll kind of push him to the side. All right, Nightwing issue 70, Journey to Joker War. We'll talk a little bit about that um, once we get to the end of the issue. So we start here with this helicopter flying through Bloodhaven. They're experiencing a little bit of turbulence. The The pilot says it feels unbalanced. Well, you're going to be a little bit unbalanced when uh, Bloodhaven's favorite vigilante decides to uh, uh, to take a, a jump off of your skiff and then uh, somersault off of it like Nightwing is is wont to do. So we get our uh, our, our boy Rick here in his, his new uh, air quotes. I'll go air quotes. Uh, Nightwing costume running through a bloodhaven now something really quick i want to point out i think there's another shot um here on this page uh right there if you can uh see that if i can get the glare off of that he has this kind of very simple uh domino mask going on and you can see his eyes through it and it's something weird that keeps uh, uh cropping up a few times it's always interesting to see superhero characters in comics where you can see their eyes through their mask right usually with the uh, the green lanterns and all of the uh the batman characters when they have a mask on they have like white lenses i don't know if that's just because writers don't want to put the um uh, draw their eyes in there if that's just something that's you know been done since the since the dawn of time with comics you just don't draw eyes when they have a mask on but it's it's weirdly I don't want to say off-putting but that might be the, the the slightly the right word there um when you can see their eyes it's just really odd so we've got uh, Dick Grayson here or actually he says his name is Richard Grayson uh my name is Richard Grayson and I'm a mess yes you are Rick yes you are uh for months I didn't know who I was my memory was shot my entire past a blank slate now it feels like I'm two people in one with a two sets of conflicting memories that are at war with each other and it's eating me alive. So yeah, he's got the implanted memories from the Court of Owls and his true original memories. And he says here, uh, in the set that I was, uh, that's most clear, I was raised by William Cobb, his grandfather, uh, talent and groomed to be an assassin. Even that seems to be fading. The second set is more frag fragmented and much harder to grasp. But I think I was raised by Bruce Wayne, Batman, and I took the path of a hero. Intellectually, that feels like like uh, the one that I that I should be able to embrace as real, but it isn't that simple. Anything I can remember from that is that stream is wispy, like the hazy remnants of a dream I can't grasp. However, he talks about how he can't deny what he feels. He says, no matter how much I tell myself that something didn't happen, I can't deny what I feel. So I like that. I think we're going to play up. Maybe he stops trusting his 
his memories because he can't discern which one to real or not and he goes on his own gut feelings like I'm going to you know the next time Batman shows up or the next time Barbara Gordon shows up and they say hey I am this to you he's going to trust his gut instinct he's going to trust his feeling um, when he's confronted with uh, which set of memories he needs to choose I think we could that would be an interesting way of playing this up plus we've got this um, crystal um, rock thing I forget what they called it a memory crystal yeah that um, Dr. Haas had um, when they were trying to uh, you know turn him into a talon then it goes into a little bit of uh, the history we've uh, uncovered over the past couple issues and then again here they're trying to make him into a talon with the court of owls got that classic nightwing symbol in there there's another picture of him where you can see his eyes behind a mask it's just weirdly off-putting i don't know why <laughs> all right so we go over here to the hospital where we've got three of our nightwings nightwing red uh, blue and gold maybe I can't remember which one was blue and which one was gold but the the brother and sister cops and then Hotch who was the the fireman uh, they're trying to decide you know like are we good enough to be Nightwings one of them says here this insanity this misguided notion that we were capable of being Nightwings my god it's it's time for it to end because you know um, Zach here has been almost killed once or twice you know tore up by the original Talon so they're saying you know like should we keep doing this are we going to keep doing this what are we doing? It's like, we can't we just do our jobs as cops and as firemen to, to help Bloodhaven uh, that way? And they keep talking and say that um, Sap, the other one that one that brought them in, which I think was he was called Nightwing Prime, is still out there and he is still doing his Nightwing thing. Now, um, I talked about, or I said there were some characters that I would like to see stick around. I don't actually mind these characters. I, I, I minded them when they first showed up because I, you know, there only should be one Nightwing and it's Dick Grayson. But if we're going to go down this path, I think I've actually started to like these characters. And if we can reinstall them as um, a firefighter and uh, some cops, right, then I think there would be good allies for Nightwing to have there in Bloodhaven. He can come back to them for information or help when there's a fire or something like that. Um, and have them be a good uh, recurring uh, characters in the Nightwing series, you know, like Renee Montoya or um, Bullock over in in Batman. That's you know, good old hardy Gotham cops. I could see these characters um, coming back around and just being you know floating around in in the in the stories from uh, for uh, you know in, in the future, right? And then, like I said, we got Sap here, the the Nightwing Prime, the one that started everything off. He gets a, a call that there's been a stabbing at a bar, so he runs. Uh, to go help and he's a little bit too late and he runs into the bar and um, someone says uh, uh, he's calling out he thinks it's Talon but uh, the Joker from the shadow says Talon I'm not Talon and then he slams Sap's face onto uh, the hot stove and he says um, yet now as for the real Nightwing you fashion plate that you are wear his clothes I can only conclude that you know where he is so in last issue we saw that uh, the Joker was watching TV and saw that there were uh, many Nightwings going on in Bloodhaven and he's like nope there's only one boy wonder the one that I want to torment I'm gonna go make sure the real Nightwing is still um, out and around Round. So I'm thinking, I don't think we get confirmation in this book, but I'm thinking that the Joker either kidnaps um, Sap or he actually kills him. Sap is the one that I wouldn't mind dying. Like maybe if he died, then that would be the, the final impetus or the final straw that broke the camel's back that pushes the other ones back to um, their regular jobs. We got a couple of guys here uh, in an alleyway arguing about uh, some counterfeit money, and one of them is going about to go after the other. And the true Nightwing uh, jumps into the fray and, and stops everything. But then his uh, headache comes back; his memories are uh, screwing around with his head. And every anytime there's like a conflict, it's almost like a seizure or something. He can't quite figure out, or he gets a headache as to, to what's going on. And so um, the the other guy runs off, but unfortunately he runs into the Joker. And the Joker shoves a, a trick cigar into his mouth that blows the dude's 
face off. Uh, I like the occasional cigar, but I will pass on any variety that blows up in my face. Uh, so then we go uh, to B, who has become Rick's girlfriend and his uh, most trusted person since she came after um, everything. He feels that he can trust her, and we haven't been led to believe that he can't trust her. Uh, so she hears something thumping upstairs and gets her back to go upstairs to make sure it's not mice or rats. And that's when uh, Rick is there, and he says he's having the headaches uh, that are bad he can't can, uh, figure out what the his real memories are and he leaves his he takes his crystal off and and leaves it upstairs as they go downstairs to get him uh some meds and then that's when the joker creeps in and takes whatever uh or takes the memory crystal and they're going to do joker things with it and as you can see he's taken the nightwing costume and it's covered in presumably sap's blood and so next time it says war for the mind so i'm not quite sure what joker war is yet i think it's really just starting to play up i think it's really going to kick off in batman issue 95 uh we just had 91 this week so we're about still two months away from it coming out uh however batman is a twice a month book and nightwing is only a once a month book so we're probably about two issues away um of seeing what joker war is to the nightwing comic so I'm pretty excited about it. I think once Joker War is all said and done, it's going to be the event that truly brings Dick Grayson back around to who he was. There may be some lingering effects uh, going forward for the next year or so after this is all uh, said and done, after uh, Dick Grayson comes back. Um, but I think the, the vast majority of the character will return to the character that we know and love and kind of get uh, put back on that, that stable footing. So guys, what do you think of issue 70 of Nightwing? Let me know down in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If it's your first time here at the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button for me. It would mean a lot. And until next time, we'll see y'all at the comic shop.